गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस माय नेम इज मनदीप कौर फ्रॉम कैलिफोर्निया पब्लिक स्कूल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडे टॉपिक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज द फिफ्टींथ चैप्टर एंड नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज ट्राई एंगल्स एंड इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द ट्राई एंगल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट वर्कशीट एंड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस वर्कशीट इज आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन the first one is which part lies in the interior of the triangle here the triangle is given and in the very beginning the first part we have to write down the points lies on the interior of triangle now what is the interior interior that means inside of the triangle and exterior that are the outside points of the triangle interior that lies inside and exterior of triangle that lies outside of the triangle so in the first part which point lies in the interior of the triangle so which point lies that is point e interior of triangle that means which point lies inside of this triangle that means the point e so the first part the answer is point e point e now in the b part which point lie on the triangular region now which point lie here is of a triangle so how many points lie here is p q r and here is point d and point e so which point lies on the triangular region that is p q r and point d and also point e now in the c part which point lie on the exterior of triangle exterior of triangle that means which point lie outside the triangular region here is our triangle and outsider point are called the exterior of triangle now what are the outer points that is point a and point b so point a and point b lie on the exterior of triangle now in the last part d part where does the point p lie here is our point p now where it lies on the triangle so point p lie on the triangle point p lies on the triangle so that is the first question now let's start the second question of this worksheet okay now the next question of this worksheet is find the unknown angle and classify them on the basis of the angle so here are the two triangles in the a part here is a triangle and two angles are given and we have to identify its third angle its third angle so let us suppose that is angle a that is angle b and that is angle c now everyone knows that the sum of angles of the triangle is 180 degree the sum of angles of triangle is 180 degree so two angles we already know that so we, here we can easily find out the third angle so here is in triangle abc in triangle abc angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree sum of the angles of triangle is 180 degree so angle a we have to find out so write it as it is angle b that is 45 degree angle c that is 46 degree that is equal to 180 degree so here angle a plus now 45 plus 46 that is 91 degree that is equal to 180 degree so the value of angle a that is 180 minus of 91 and that is 89 degree so that means the value of angle a is 89 degree now we have to find out the type of angle so the angles which are less than 90 that all are called acute angle so here angle a is 89 degree that is less than 90 that means the type of angle is acute angle acute angle so now in the second question again let us suppose that angle is a that is b and that is c so here we have to find out the b angle so again by using the sum of angles of triangles is 180 degree so angle a that is 59 angle b we have to find out and angle c that is 31 degree that is equal to 180 so here is angle b now 59 plus 31 so that is 90 degree is equal to 180 so the value of angle b that is 180 minus of 90 that is 90 degree so the angle b is 90 degree 
So which angle is 90? Obviously it's the right angle. So that is right angle. That is right angle. So that type of triangle is right angle. So when we have to find out the third angle and two angles are given, we always have to use the sum of angles of triangle is 180 degree and in this way we can easily find out the third angle and after it we have to write down the type of angle. If less than 90 that is acute angle and if it is 90 that is right angle. Now come to the next question of this worksheet. Okay now the next part of the second question that is the D part. Again we have to find out the angles of this triangle and here we have given only one angle. So firstly let us suppose that is A, that is B and that is C. So now look at here. These two sides are equal. These two sides are equal given. So when two sides are equal that is the isolated triangle. Isolated triangle. So if two sides are equal, then their opposite angles are also equal. Two sides of isolates are equal, then its opposite angles are also equal. That means if it is 45, that is also 45 degree. Now we have to find out only C angle. So here we can use, again use the sum of the angles of the triangles property. So here is angle A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree. Angle A that is 45, angle B that is also 45 and C we have to find out that is equal to 180. So 45 plus 45 that is 90 plus angle C equal to 180. That means angle C is equal to 90 is positive in this side and in this side it will be negative. So 180 minus of 90. So again angle C is 90 degree. So that angle is 90 degree. Now the type of angle that is isolates and here is the right angle. So isolates, isolates right angle. Right angle because 90 degree isolates because its two sides are equal. So that type is isolates right angle. Now come to the next question of this worksheet. Okay, now the next question of this worksheet is classify the following triangles on the basis of its sides and angle. We have to find out the type of these angles, sorry triangles. So here is the first figure. Now look at here, here are the three sides of the triangle and each side is of 5 cm. That means all sides are equal. If all sides of triangle are equal, that is called the equilateral triangle. So the first part is equilateral triangle. So that is the A part. Now in the B part, now look at here, here is the angle 90 degree and here is 45 degree. If I have to find out its third angle, so here is 90 and 45 and the sum of all angles of triangle is 180 degree. So here is 90, here is 45. If I will find out its third angle 90 plus 45, let us suppose that is A, that is B and that is C. So here is 45C and angle A we have to find out equal to 180. So here is 135 plus angle A equal to 180. So angle A is 180 minus of 135. So angle A that is 45. So that angle is also 45. Now look at here. If the opposite angles are equal, that means it's these sides are also equal. These sides are also equal because if sides are equal, then its opposite angles are also equal. If two sides are equal, that means that is isolates. And here is angle 90 degree. So what type of this angle of uh, what type of this triangle is isolates? Right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Isolates because its two sides are equal because we have find out its third angle is also 45 degree. If two these opposite angles are equal that means obviously these sides are also equal. So two sides are equal that means isolates and here is 90 that means right angle triangle. Now in the C part all the angles of this triangle are equal if all the sides and if all the angles are equal that means that is also equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. So now in the last part, 
Now look at here. Here is 4 cm, 4 cm and 3 cm. Now its two sides are equal. Two sides are equal. But we don't know the angles are not given. So if two sides are equal, that means that is a isolase triangle. So that is only isolase. Isolase triangle. So that is the third question of this worksheet. Now for tomorrow we will discuss the remaining question of this worksheet. Hope so that all of you have been cleared about in which way we can find out the types of the angles. So tomorrow we will discuss the remaining question. So thank you so much everyone.